Shane from Jags Journeys. I'm back today at Warner Brothers Movie World in the Gold Coast. Now we thought we'd pay a visit in the middle of the June July school holidays so all the states in Australia are on holidays at the moment. A lot of people have been asking me how busy is it right in the middle of the holidays so uh, we thought we'd come in today and check out the park, uh, check out some of the wait times as well and just uh, see what's happening here at Movie World. It is also right in the middle of the Heroes and Villains uh, event which is awesome by the way which is on until the 16th of July make sure you get down and check that one out if you haven't already other than that let's go in now and check it all out so why don't you come along with me and join the journey So just made it into the park and it's about half past 10 and i tell you what the park's actually really really busy at the moment and there's lots of buses out the front as well so lots of groups in today so i would imagine this is going to be a very busy day and uh yeah it'd be interesting to see what the uh, ride wait times pump out to be later on again i would suggest definitely to get yourself onto the virtual queue system on the village roadshow theme parks app take advantage of that or buy a fast track pass you can purchase online or here in the park as well to make sure you get on all the rides done the bat wing space shot it actually shoots you up 60 meters Hey guys, if you're riding the Green Lantern and you've got a virtual queue or a fast track, you got to enter the ride through the DC Superhero Store. Hey guys, so again, the uh, sign at the front of the queue for Green Lantern says a 60 minute wait, but I had a look at the app and it says 25 minutes. So always go by the app. I mean, the, the signs out the front don't always get updated as often as they should. So again, definitely check the app. That's the best uh, sign of what the wait time will be for each ride. Hey guys, so the Green Lantern Coaster has uh, one of the steepest inverted drops in the Southern Hemisphere, which is pretty cool. Um, you get a top speed of 66 kilometers per hour uh, on this ride and the actual track length is 488 meters pretty decent ride you've got to be 140 centimeters tall to ride this attraction and there's a maximum height up there of 33 meters Green Lantern ride will be down on maintenance between the 18th of July to the 15th of September so make sure you come down before then and ride the Green Lantern.
Like Justice League is an indoor dark ride and you get to go around and shoot the star roads. Uh, it's a pretty cool ride. It's not a thrilling ride, but it's definitely well themed and worth a look. So Justice League is currently around about a half an hour away, which isn't too bad for 11.30 in the morning. All right, time to check out the longest, tallest, fastest hyper coaster in the Southern Hemisphere. It also has a 1.4 kilometer long track and you get a top speed of up to 115 kilometers per hour. Seven years of age and 130 centimeters to ride the DC Rivals. Hey guys, did you know the Superman Escape Coaster it goes from zero to 100 kilometers per hour in just two seconds? It also has a 760 meter long track and you have to be between 140 and 196 centimeters to ride it. Hey guys, so it always pays to check the Village Roadshow theme park app for ride wait times. Uh, the reason why is the sign at the front of Superman that currently says 75 minute wait. On the app it says 30 minutes. So there's always a bit of a discrepancy there. Um, but currently, because it is holidays, they are running two trains. So I'm guessing it might only be around about a half an hour wait. And that ride wait time is based around 11.15 a.m. <laughs> hey guys, so during last week, Movie World made the announcement of what the new attraction is going to be called here at Movie World. Uh, so this is the old Surf Rider attraction that was moved from Wet n Wild so that's going to be called the Flash Speed Force. Uh, that was announced during the week. Uh, it's really exciting. Uh, the only thing uh, is it's not due to open until April 2024. Uh, we sort of thought it would uh, open potentially September or December this year. Um, but obviously they've, they've got other plans um, around the, the opening or might be because of the work that's needed to be done. And the whole area is also going to be re-themed as well. Now the cool thing about where Surf Rider or the, the new Flash Ride is located is actually inside the ride envelope or footprint of the Superman Skate Roll Coaster Ride. So that's pretty cool. That also adds another awesome element to this attraction. So what do we know about the Flash Speed Force Ride? So it came across from Wet n Wild. Originally it was the Surf Rider there. Now it's made by Interman and it's actually a half pipe shuttle coaster. Now there's one train on there, looks kind of like a surfboard, and there's two ride cars on that one train, and each one seats about eight people, so um, it'll have a capacity of 16 people per ride. It's around about a two minute ride. Track height is actually 30 meters high, and there is actually other models of this particular ride available around the world, and this isn't the tallest one either. Um, there's a couple of other ones that are a little bit higher, but this will be a 30 meter height, uh, and it'll be a 67 meter long track and you actually get up to 70 kilometers per hour speed on this. And so LSM launch multi-pass. So um, yeah, it should be a pretty cool ride and definitely because it's themed the Flash, the theming looks amazing. So this whole precinct in the middle of the Superman ride is gonna look absolutely amazing. It's really gonna tie in well to this whole DC theming in this area. Again, we can't wait for this to be open and we will provide you regular updates of the construction of this attraction because we can actually see it quite well. And um, yeah, we'll always keep you updated. Okay, so what's the Wizard of Oz area? So today is a Saturday and the 
actually working very hard on the area today at the weekend so it's good to see that there's continuous work happening up there. If you guys weren't sure about again what's happening with the Wizard of Oz area, essentially there's going to be a couple of coasters in there, or well, three really. Um, I did put out a Wizard of Oz uh, update uh, when, the, when it was announced but again this whole area will be opened probably at the end of 2024 there's going to be a suspended coaster going in there now this is the exact same suspended coaster as the TNT at Gambaya World in Victoria now we've also been to Gambaya World at Victoria and we've done a, a whole um, segment on that and including uh, on-ride POV as well so make sure you check out our uh, Gambaya World uh, video as well that'll show you what that coaster looks like there's also going to be a boomerang coaster going in here so essentially two racing tracks two coasters one track is 225 meters long the other one's 220 meters long and it's going to be 22 meters high and you're going to get a 58 kilometer per hour speed on the on the dueling boomerang coaster with the suspender coaster that's actually a 454 meter long track at the height of 19 meters and you get a top speed of 67 kilometers per hour and of course the whole entire area is going to be themed as a wizard of oz so it's going to be very immersive and amazing so we can't wait for the wizard of oz area at the uh, probably the back end of 2024 again there's going to be two essentially three family coasters going in there so that is going to be really exciting and an awesome addition here for movie world and of course as always we will continue to keep you updated on any uh, progress and construction progress on the wizard of oz area and we can't still can't really see too much other than the, the dirt patch that they're working on there but as soon as those as tracks and support beams start coming down from where they're stored and we start seeing them go vertical that's going to be exciting to actually see actual progress and, and that's what we'll continue to provide you updates on hey guys uh, since we were last here they've now updated the sign at the top of the Warner Brothers boutique store in Main Street uh, which is good and really ties in well with the theming of this of the new store and the new merch in there. Looks good. All right, I think it's time to go and get a coffee. Hey guys, I just want to give a really big shout out to Josh B, Dave and Jared, Ahmed and his son, Kylie and Michaela, Black Laws family, and Stephen Paderbo. Uh, thank you all very much for buying me coffees. In fact, some of you bought multiple coffees, and for that, I thank you very much. It really does help support my channel. And if anyone else would also like to support my channel just like they did, the link is in the description below. It's also on screen now. By buying me coffees, definitely helps me bring more videos just like this straight to you. Hey guys, just to let you know that the carousel down here at the Kids WB area will be down on annual maintenance from the 24th of July until the 1st of September. in the afternoon there's about a 30 minute wait on Roadrunner roller coaster which is pretty good they are running two trains as well um, but also the virtual app uh, says a hundred minutes so again sometimes the virtual app will be a larger time frame than the actual queue line just depends how you want to schedule your day
get down to the back end of the park, WB Kids, there is the Marvin Drop Twist Tower, 10 meter tower, heaps of fun for the kids and the family. For the holidays, Yosemite Sam's Railway will be actually down on maintenance from 18th of July until the 15th of September. Hey guys, so since our last visit, they bought the food van from the Kids WB area outside the front of Rick's Cafe American. Let's check it out. Yeah, so the Funhouse Fries food van definitely open now and has been relocated outside the front of Rick's Cafe American. And again, my favorite place to eat for lunch is the Dirty Harry Bar and Grill. And they got um, nachos, tacos, dirty fries, fish and chips, all that outside here. It's quite a bit of a queue here, but certainly, definitely awesome food. And if you do have lunch at the Gotham City Cafe, uh, just next to that is Gotham City Hall. It's a great themed area where you can eat your lunch. And if you didn't know, uh, Scooby-Doo ride is under a multi-million dollar makeover. Uh, changes to the ride operating system as well. We're not sure what else is actually happening with the ride, whether it's a track change or anything, we're not sure. However, this is not going to be reopened now until 2025. All right, let's go check out if Doomsday is operational. Hey guys, so well, as you know, Doomsday Destroyer has been up and down a fair bit and um, has had quite a few technical issues, I guess. Uh, however, today there is people loaded on there now and we'll just see what they're going to get, whether they're going to get the half slow B mode or whether they're going to get the full ride experience. Let's check it out. All right, so the ride has just started. Let's just see what we get, whether we get a full rotation or just the half mode. So far, it's pretty slow, but it does take a little bit to get momentum. Let's see how it goes. Well, it looks like we're just getting the the half experience, halfway around experience, which is yeah, it's a little bit disappointing. I'm not sure what what's going on with the ride itself. I haven't even seen any kind of uh, announcement or uh, anything from uh, Village Roadshow theme parks in regards to um, this attraction. Anyway. At least it is going and you can ride it, it's just uh, not the full experience that you'd normally get, unfortunately. So uh, the wait time for Doomsday uh, currently says closed, but online it says around about 5 to 10 minutes. So um, again, they're only running the, I guess the B mode or the slow mode halfway around. So um, whilst it says closed here, it is on the app and open and it is around about 5 to 10 minutes. So it's definitely good to see the killer drop water going again as well. Oh. 
perhaps the uh, problem of Doomsday is the actual uh, the broken wire there in the control panel. That might have something to do with why it's only going halfway around. What do you think? Alright, we're gonna go and head down to the Wild West Falls. So down at the Wild West area, the Wild West Roadhouse is actually open, obviously for the school holidays. Uh, it's busy enough to be open, so you can get also some great products down here, burgers, chips, and uh, things, different things too, compared to um, Gotham City, so it's good. But unfortunately, the Santa Fe Cantina isn't open, which is strange. Again, it is busy enough, I feel, for the, for the school holidays, but maybe it's open weekdays only. It looks like they've possibly pruned this tree here to get more of a view of the Wild West Falls. Hey guys, well it's good to see the Wild West Falls ride is operational today. Did you know that the height of that drop there is actually 20 meters and you get a top speed of 70 kilometers per hour down that drop, which is awesome. Check it out. If you want to ride the Wild West Falls ride, you've got to be 130 centimetres tall to ride it. But if you're a kid and you're between 95 centimetres to 130 centimetres, you can ride, but you have to ride it with an adult. Tell you what, the Wild West Falls ride is such a cool ride. You actually even get to go through old ghost town as well. It's pretty cool. I'm actually surprised to see the uh, WB uh, Studio Showcase closed right in the middle of school holidays. Now, I'm not sure maybe this uh, attraction has finished because it does usually only run for I guess a couple of years at a time and then they look at changing it out um, but unfortunately yeah it's it's closed and it's um it's about two o'clock in the afternoon so it's not like it's late in the afternoon or anything like that yeah, a little bit disappointing people on holiday want to see this but uh, anyway we'll see if we can find out more maybe it's just had some uh, operational issues today By the way guys, if you do like this kind of video content, theme parks, attractions, event, make sure you subscribe for more. And also don't forget to check us out on TikTok, Instagram and Facebook as well because we do post things during the week on those social media platforms. And next time you're here at one of the Gold Coast theme parks, why don't you ask the staff, is Jags Journeys here today? Anyway guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next journey.